before starting the story. I will explain some difficult words so that you can get better understanding of this story. Scorching, extremely hot, burning. Example, the scorching sun made it hard for the villagers to work outside. Drought, a prolonged period of very little or no rainfall, leading to water shortages. Example, due to the drought, the crops began to dry out. Withering, gradually drying up or becoming weak. Example, the plants were withering because of the lack of water, simultaneously happening or done at the same time. Example, the villagers prayed simultaneously in their homes, agreed upon, something decided or accepted by everyone involved. Example, the villagers gathered to pray at the agreed upon time, muttered, spoke in a low or barely audible voice, often in a complaining or emotional way. Example, the farmer muttered his prayers, hiding his tears. Adversity, difficulties or misfortune. Example, the villagers faced great adversity during the drought. Waver, to become unsure or lose confidence. Example, their belief began to waver as the rain did not come. Resilient, able to recover quickly from challenges or setbacks. Example, belief helps us remain resilient during tough times. Persistent, continuing to do something despite challenges or opposition. Example, her persistent belief made her bring the umbrella even when the sky was clear. Unwavering, firm and steady, not changing or weakening. Example, the little girl showed unwavering faith in her prayer. Conviction, a strong belief or certainty. Example, the farmer was touched by his daughter's conviction that it would rain. Once upon a time, a farmer lived with his family in a small village. It was a scorching summer and not even a single drop of rain had fallen for many months due to the drought. Their crops were withering away. The entire village was deeply saddened. Everyone was eagerly waiting for rain, but the rain never came everyone started to lose hope. One day, all the villagers decided to pray simultaneously at their home at a fixed time. At the agreed upon time, the farmer, his wife, and their six-year-old daughter gathered to pray. The farmer sat with folded hands with his wife and daughter beside him in Awa, voice hiding his tears. He prayed, O oh Lord, I have heard you listen to your children's prayers. Our crops are dying. Please send rain soon, so that we can survive. Each family member prayed in their own way. The little girl also prayed to God, saying, Oh Lord, my father is very upset. You can do everything. Please make it rain in our village. After some time, when the prayer was over, the farmer got up to leave for his fields. Seeing him leave, the girl asked him, Where are you going? Father, I am going to the farm to do some work. The farmer replied. The girl quickly ran towards her father and said, Wait, I will come with you too. She went inside and returned with an umbrella of seeing the umbrella in her hand. The father asked, Why did you bring an umbrella? The sun is already gone, and it is evening time. The little girl replied, Father, we have just prayed to God for rain. If we go without an umbrella, we will get wet when it rains. The farmer was stunned after listening to his daughter. He was amazed at his daughter's faith. He looked up at the sky. It was clear and there was no sign of clouds, our rain. Then he gazed at his daughter's innocent face. At that moment, he felt a voice inside him saying, It is good to pray, but more important is to believe that your prayer will be answered and then act accordingly. The farmer took his daughter in his arms, kissed her on the forehead, and went to the fields holding the umbrella in his hands. And that night it rained like it had never rained before. The story of the farmer and his little daughter teaches us a vital lesson about belief many times in our lives. Whenever we are going through hard times or adversity, our belief starts to waver and we become hopeless. But in this story, during a severe drought, the entire village prayed for rain, but their hearts were filled with doubt. The little girl, however, brought an umbrella showing her firm belief that rain would come. Belief is crucial in our lives. 
it forms the foundation of our dreams and goals. When we start any task with faith in ourselves, a positive outcome is bound to follow. Without belief, our efforts might falter and we could give up too easily. But when we truly believe in something, we are more likely to act in ways that make it happen. Belief drives our actions and our actions lead to results. If we approach our goals with doubt, we might not put in the necessary effort or give up when faced with obstacles. But with confidence and faith, we become more resilient and persistent, which increases our chances of success in our lives. Belief is essential in every respect when we are ill and take medicine. It is not just the medicine that heals us, but our belief that the medicine will make us better. Without this belief, even medicine can fail to treat us, even when we pray. Our belief in our prayer plays a crucial role. When we pray with firm conviction, then things start to change, as per our wish. The story reminds us that unwavering belief in ourselves, our goals or our prayers can bring about the results we desire. Belief is not just about hoping for the best. It is about being convinced that the best will happen only those who believe in themselves and their dreams achieve their goals. So believe in yourself and you can achieve anything you set your mind to because unwavering belief is the key that unlocks the door to your dreams.